Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, today we're going to be doing something that I have never done before on my channel. So, today we are going to be doing a Spin the Wheel Book the Wrestler YouTube video today. Now, this was something that I got the idea from a YouTuber named Super Kick Studios who made a Spin the Wheel Book the Wrestler video of his own on his YouTube channel. Uh, I will put the link in the description down below. But in the meantime, let's spin the wheel and see who we're going to be uh, booking first. All right, so the person that we will be doing first will be Karrion Cross. Now, he has had a very dominant run in NXT, and he is a very dominant NXT champion, in my opinion. But for now, he will be staying in NXT. He will be taken off of Raw and sent back to NXT. He will have a very dominant run and hold on to the title for a very long time. But in the beginning of 2022, he loses the NXT Championship to someone who I think deserves the big push, Kyle O'Reilly, since he is pretty much getting a big push right now, and will obviously be beating Adam Cole at NXT TakeOver 36. Now, right when Karrion Cross loses the NXT Championship, the next night, the 2022 Royal Rumble pay-per-view, he debuts in the Royal Rumble match, wins it, and challenges Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Now, on the road to WrestleMania, they have a bunch of promos, they get into a bunch of brawls, and then when WrestleMania 38 comes around, the match between Karrion Cross and Bobby Lashley is absolutely brutal. They're beating the living hell out of each other. Uh, but eventually Karrion Cross beats Bobby Lashley and becomes the new WWE Champion. And his first challenger for the WWE Championship is none other than Drew McIntyre, who challenges him at Backlash for the title. And of course, Karrion Cross retains, but the match is very brutal, just like with Bobby Lashley. He brutalizes Drew McIntyre. And his reign is just absolutely dominant to the point where he is literally the next Brock Lesnar of the WWE. Now, with this one out of the way, let's spin the wheel and find out who the next wrestler is that we will be booking. Okay, so the next person that I will be booking will be none other than Brock 
Lesnar. How funny that he is the next person that I book after talking about at the end of the last person I was just booking was going to be the next Brock Lesnar. So that is kind of a weird coincidence. But anyway, so what's going to happen with Brock Lesnar is Roman Reigns will be a the most dominant champion ever. He will still be the champion in 2023. And Paul Heyman's cutting a promo. But then, all of a sudden, Paul Heyman is looking at Roman Reigns and announces that he needs to be the manager of someone who thinks is his true friend and real ally that he trusts in the business. And right as he is done talking, Brock Lesnar's music hits. Then we see him come out from the back. Roman Reigns is absolutely stunned. He sends Jimmy and Jay Uso to get and attack Brock Lesnar. But Brock Lesnar just fights them off like they're nothing. F5s both of them at back out at ringside. Paul Heyman gets out of the ring and stands next to Brock Lesnar and watches him get in the ring with Roman. And right as he gets in the ring with Roman, Roman doesn't know what to think. Then Brock picks him up and F5s him in the middle of the ring, just like that. Then picks up the Universal Championship, holds it high above his head. Then, next week on SmackDown, Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar are in the middle of the ring. Paul Heyman cuts a promo and says that Brock Lesnar challenges you, Roman Reigns, for the Universal Championship at Money in the Bank. And so, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank 2023. Now... Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, it's pretty much like how we saw before all those other times that we saw Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar uh, compete in a match. Brock Lesnar destroys Roman Reigns, and right as he's about to pin him, the Usos are about to get involved, they're about to hit Brock Lesnar and cost him the match, but Brock Lesnar evades both of their hits and F5s both of them at the exact same time. Then as Roman Reigns is about to deliver a spear, he counters it and F5s him in the middle of the ring and pins him one, two, Three becomes the new Universal Champion. Now, I'm going to actually stop right there because I don't want to add in any more uh, superstars. I'm going to be doing these in parts uh, because I don't want this whole video to just be about everyone on the wheel. I spin it like constantly until all of them are done in one video. No, I'm going to be doing these in parts because that way it can not be as long for everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share it to anyone that you know that are fans of WWE, so, or any type of uh, wrestling show for that matter. So I will see you all 
in the next video. Goodbye.